Hey everybody, Chad Haney here for 991WDGM.com and our Inside the Tide blog. Alabama picking up two more wins today, now 13-0 on the season after a 21-0 victory, the largest margin victory ever for the Crimson Tide in program history today over Western Illinois, and then a 5-0 victory after an hour and a 10-minute rain delay here at Rhodes Stadium, actually a lightning delay that kept the Tide and the Hawkeyes from playing. But they finally got the game in, and Bama able to put together several runs throughout several different innings to take down the Hawkeyes. Highlighted in the first game, Caleb Rowe, who overall on the day was 4 for 7. Rowe continues to have a great start to 2013. It's great to see her really having that control back that she had in her freshman and sophomore year and really started to find last year at the Women's College World Series. Haley McClinney can't say enough about the freshman in the first game. Three for three, four runs scored with six runs batted in. She did have her first hitless game in the second game today against Iowa, although she still reached base, so still a streak going there for McClinney. Still a very impressive start to 2013 for the freshman from Morris, Alabama. Also for the Tide in that first game against Western Illinois, Kayla Hunt, two for three with four runs batted in. And oh, by the way, Jordan Patterson, who many of you probably know as the daughter of Sarah and David Patterson, well, she can play softball pretty well, too. Had her first career home run today, a three-run shot over the wall in center field. Great moment for Jordan there as she's worked hard to get that first home run. Hope to see her hit quite a few more of them here in her last two years at the Capstone. Leslie Jury pitching the first game for the time. She had another excellent outing, really overshadowed by the 21 runs scored by the Tide. A lot of pitchers would let that cushion uh, kind of let up their performance in the circle. Jury didn't. She kept on them and pitched a two-hit shutout there in five innings, only walking one and striking out six of the 19 batters she faced. In the second game, Bama scored a run in the second, two in the third, one in the fourth, and one in the sixth to take down Iowa. Uh, Jackie Trana in the circle. A great performance for her. A five-hit shutout. Only walked one and struck out six, just as Jury did. Really played the game offensively in that game for the Tide. Look at Kayla Bro, She was two for four. Look at Leona Lafayette. She was two for two. Kima Davis, two for three, though, with two runs scored and an RBI. She drove in the first run. Callie Case from second uh, with a single through the right side. Great day for the Crimson Tide. They'll bounce back tomorrow and play both these teams again. They'll flip around and play Iowa in the first game. They'll be the visitors for that one. And then they'll play Western Illinois in the second game. And they'll be the home team against the Leathernecks tomorrow here at Road Stadium. Weather should be beautiful. It's kind of miserable here tonight as it was cold and rainy and we had a long lightning delay. None of that should happen tomorrow. We expect clear skies. The sun will be out and it should be in the mid-60s for a beautiful day of softball. Hope to see you out at Road Stadium. If not, you can keep it right here on 99.1 WDGM and 99.1 WDGM.com, your flagship station for Alabama softball on the Crimson Tide Sports Network. We'll see you tomorrow. Hope to see you here at the park. If not, I'll be glad to bring the game to you here tomorrow as the Crimson Tide look to go 15-0 here in 2013.